Hi, my name is Jennifer Haley and I am a third grade math teacher at North Union Elementary School and I wanted to apply for the Chief Academic Officer position that's available at the board office. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I feel like even though maybe I don't have the paperwork to match the position, I definitely have the skills and talents that would make um, me very successful at this position. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and my background and what maybe I could have to offer for this position. So um, number one, I have not always been a teacher in my professional career. I spent 10 years in the business field working for a family business called Hauser Products, Hauser Racing. Um, it's an ATV manufacturing facility. And what we did was we manufactured parts um, to sell across the world. So when I started, I started as a cover for my sister-in-law for while she was on maternity leave. Um, so it started by answering phones, writing paychecks, working with the employees, um, things like that, nothing major. Well, I decided I kind of liked it and I decided that I was no longer interested in working in restaurants <laughs> for a living. So I just stuck around. Um, in the 10 years that I was there, I took on a lot of responsibilities. Um, I'm definitely a self-starter and I'm ambitious and I like a challenge. So I um, went from just answering the phones and selling to working with all of the distributors around the world. Um, so that meant working with our distributors in France and Germany and working with our, our big distributors here in the United States. So we were constantly filling orders and making sure that we had that customer relationship together. And we did a really good job with that. So we, as time progressed, we ended up doing a lot more internet marketing. So my job progressed into doing advertising, taking photos, writing instruction manuals, um, training employees across the world. So um, I got to do a lot of really cool stuff there. I got to work with a lot of unique people, individuals, and I got to see what the business world was like when I was in education at The Ohio State University in Marion. So um, as in addition to doing all of those things, after working with all these people, I kind of went into more of like the human resource business management side of things. Um, I started working with the employees. I started training new employees, hiring new employees. Um, I was working on videos and photography um, to make sure that we could sell the products that we were selling. I learned how to use Photoshop pretty efficiently. Um, I was able to edit photos and I created more than 20 advertisements to be seen in Dirt Rolls Magazine and all over the internet. So um, as you can tell, I had no prior experience with any of those things. I just chose to take it on and I did what I could with it. So um, anyway, I've got 10 years of business experience, which kind of makes me very well qualified. Um, some of the things that I've done to note as far as being in education. My first job was at Big Walnut as a math tutor. I love that job because I was able to work with so many people and so many adults and kids alike. I ended up working with over 145 students in the short amount of time that I was there. I came in at 8.30 in the morning and I left at 2.30 and I was able to still maintain a relationship with that many people. Um, well, students, in addition to so many different teachers. So basically what I did was I'd come in, we'd go through the RTI process, determine who needed math interventions, and then we would um, target those students and I would push in support for the upper grades for third and fourth grade and second grade. And then I would pull out interventions for kindergarten and first grade. So that was really awesome because I got to meet, I got to meet so many people. I got to see different teaching styles. And the number one thing that I don't really get to do a whole lot of now that I really liked about that job was I also got to work with a lot of other adults. I can see myself working with adults um, down the road, either in higher education or as a coaching position or instructional facilitation. I just love working with adults because their passion in this industry is just amazing and it is surpassed by none. So anyway, um, in order for me to be successful in that position, I definitely had to have a great line of communication. We worked through email and shared documents and had lots of meetings with people all the time. It was great. And I was piloting that program there and they are still using it today. So I feel like it was really awesome that I was able to be on the forefront of something that was amazing. Next thing that's really awesome about me that I would make me very good at something like this is my fact that I am so organized. You come into my classroom and you need something, I can find it for you within minutes. I love to have organization in my life because that's the only way I can stay sane. <laughs> so 
Anyway, um, as far as organization goes, when I started working for North Union, uh, it was my first big gig. So I was very nervous coming in. I didn't know what I was doing. I felt very um, challenged in that regard. So I just took it upon myself to kind of go out and find resources, talk to my team, speak to my mentors, and just see what there was out there for me to do. And the following year, we decided to departmentalize in third grade, which was a fantastic move. I'm so happy with that job. So I got to teach math, which is my passion. I love math so much. I can't say that I'm the best at it all the time or that I can really do very high advanced math or anything, but the progression of learning that happens with children in math just makes me so excited. And they just are they just take it and they embrace it and they love it. So I was really excited to have the opportunity to teach just math with these students. So when we did that, when we departmentalized, we got an entire extra period time of math, Susan Buck and I did. So we got 45 additional minutes to be able to teach math. And we just were like, uh, what do we do with all this extra time? So we were spent the first year um, together coming up with curriculum to fill the voids. Um, we were able to work on math facts. We were able to work on um, spiral reviews. We were able to assign work to the students that was differentiated at their level. It was so great. We were able to do all of these things. We were able to meet the kids that needed extra help. We were able to meet with the kids who were gifted. We were able to meet with the kids who were high proficient and low proficient and just right where they needed to be. So it was so awesome and we loved it so much. So after that, we decided, well, now it's time to get it out on paper. So with my organization skills and my spreadsheet skills and my data tracking, I took my um, talents and I put it to work for me. So what I did was I created a curriculum map, which I would love to show you more. So if you'd like to hear a little bit more about my curriculum map, hopefully I get an interview and I can talk to you about that a little more and show you what I have to talk about. But what we did is we documented all of our target um, ICANN statements, all of our standards and our vocabulary and um, all of the resources, all of the videos, all of the everything that we could need or use during a unit documented in Google Drive in a place where I can access it at any time, where I can get it from anywhere. I don't have to be at school to get it. That was huge because I can't tell you how many times my first year of teaching I wanted to work on something from home and I couldn't because it was stored on the network. So us making a transfer to Google Drive and Team Drives has been phenomenally essential to my success as a teacher. So um, I feel like that is a big stepping stone for us. And the other thing that I've done in the position that I'm in currently that is something to note would be our um, data sheet that we do. So I created a data sheet um, that stores all of the student data for all third graders, not just my kids, not just the 25 I saw my first year, not just the 75 kids I saw the last two years. It's for every third grader. So what we've done is we document their name, their class schedule, um, whether or not they're on an IEP, a 504, if they've been identified as gifted, if they're getting any interventions, if, like Wildcat readers or OG, or if they're getting any like math title services, any of those things are all documented. And if they do have an IEP or a 504, all of their accommodations are documented right there on that sheet, whether it's small group or pull out or um, items being read repeatedly or clarification or extended time, whatever it is. So we put all of that information down. We document who's going out for what interventions on that data sheet. Additionally, we've tracked their MAP scores, their RIT and their percentile for all four of the MAP tests that we took in third grade. And then we document their reading levels and we document their math facts. All of these things have been documented, therefore we can use this data to drive our instruction and differentiate for these students. So we have used all this information at our fingertips to power and to drive our instruction. And this is why we have success in third grade. So we can organize that data sheet by percentile. So let's say it's in the fall, we've done taken, um, we're done with taking our map testing and we need to do our REMS because unfortunately that's just a part of life and we need to do that. So we do our REMS, we put them together and we sort the data sheet and we know exactly who needs a REM. So anyway, the data sheet is also awesome and I would love to show it to you. So you can see that I'm organized, um, I'm dependable. If I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So I do it. Um, I'm great at delegating tasks. 
And I love to stay center focused and vision focused. So hopefully you give me an opportunity to interview and I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.